So welcome to this session. It's uh, every week at 1230 Alberta time zone. We are doing a support session on the chamber market, which is the e-commerce enabled web stores for businesses that are located in areas where cha the local chamber of commerce is participating with these the shop local in, uh, initiatives. Um, just to check here, if you can nod, do you see my screen or Chamber Market? Yeah, perfect, awesome, thank you very much. So Chamber, the Chamber channel is the location that your local Chamber will go to to do all of their work. As a business, the URL that you will go to is specifically chambermarket.ca. Uh, and, and in Alberta, it's Alberta, Dot chambermarket.ca. I am working here in a test account. Um, that's why you see Manitoba here. We uh, also have a few chambers in the Manitoba marketplace where I serve as past president and proudly founding member of a local chamber of commerce called the Southeast um, Manitoba Southeast Commerce Group. So I use that as my test area. Um, so let me log out of here and let's do, let's walk it through step by step. So you're a business in a local community and you want to just start selling your stuff online. So you would go to alberta.chambermarket.ca, click on the start selling button and click on the join now button. What this first step does, it will register you with the Bambora Merchant Processing account. It will give you your own unique uh, merchant um, process processing account and will take one to two business days to process. It's a simple application form. I won't go through it here because it's step by step by step. And then after you finish that application for the Bambora Merchant account, Bambora will put a $1 deposit in your account that you have connected with. And then there will be a confirmation number on your account statement that you need to put in to validate and verify that the information that you put for what your, where your monies will be deposited on the transactions is legitimate and it's accurate. And once that's confirmed, you could then go and set up your e-commerce web store. So, I will just go very briefly at a high level what this what your e-commerce web store looks like. So the first thing that you'll see in the account setting area, so I'm logged in now as a business wanting to sell on the chamber market e-commerce marketplace. If I click on the account settings after I'm logged in and I go to manage business, it will give me different uh, things in the menu on the left hand side. The area that most businesses are going to be interested in is the products and services. This is where you can add a product or a service that will be showcased in your e commerce web store and then promoted by your local chamber in their e commerce marketplace. I've created three different uh, examples here. And I'm just going to go into this marketing strategy consultation. So the good thing about this marketplace is it's fairly clean and simple to use. It also has the ability to have products for sale and services for sale. So depending on the kind of business that you have, you can be a chiropractor type of business. You can sell sessions on your e-commerce web store. If you are a regular bricks and mortar business, um, you can sell the widgets that you have, or if you have excess furniture, you could put anything that you as a business might want to market, sell and promote out there. So here you can see the product name obviously is, is uh, obvious. You could put a description of that product. So if let's say you're selling um, electric drill, you might want to put the specs of that drill as far as um, how many watts and the battery size and the warranty work, et cetera. 
in the category, you would choose the category that this product is uh, fitting in. And the, pro the primary image needs to be a JPEG file, specifically 800 by 600. I highly recommend using the uh, software service called Canva. And if you look here in the Canva marketplace, once you create one image, you can then duplicate it and create other images, right? I've just used these as examples. Um, and then when you want to download your image, you change it to a JPEG format, you select which one you want to download, and then you just download that and you save it to your desktop. I'm gonna cancel that because I've already done it. If you have additional pictures that shows maybe a different angle, maybe it shows the product in use, you have the ability to put a second image. You can also put tags so that if somebody goes on your local marketplace and they search for candles or flowers, th your listing or your product will come up if they're searching for keywords. And you could put as many keywords that you want on here. This is a video link. We highly recommend that you use as much videos as possible. It could be as simple as taking your own cell phone and creating a video explanation of the product or the service that you have and then uploading it to YouTube and then having this link here and we'll show you how that displays in the uh, listing. And then the price that you have this product uh, don't worry about the discounted price. We'll talk about those different options in, in future sessions. And um, if you have something that has limited quantities, so if we go back to the drill and you only have five drills left that you're selling, you want to put five drills here. And as these products get sold and the number gets to zero, it will show sold out as that product on your store. If you don't have... Um, uh, a specific quantity, you could just leave it blank. You don't have to put 99 or a thousand, just leave it blank and it will always be listed. If your uh, product or service has options, you could create different options here. Um, and then the set aside feature, I would not worry about it. Set aside is if you have, um, let's say you have a, a, father, a Mother's Day special flower bouquet, and then Mother's Day is over, but you want to reuse that next year, you could disable that so it no longer shows in your store. So you're setting it aside. And then next year, when it comes around for Mother's Day, you could just come here and re-enable that and it'll show up again. So that's how the set aside feature is used. If you have uh, SKU or part numbers, you could put the part number in here. If the product that you're selling has an age restriction, in some jurisdictions, depending on what you're selling, you might require a minimum age. If you put an age restriction on here, when the person goes and adds that to their cart, and when they click on purchase, it will give them a warning, proof of age will be required upon pickup or delivery of this product if you're putting an age restriction. Um, on the instructions, I would, again, not worry about uh, instructions unless there is a specific thing related to that. If you're selling, let's say, um, uh, if you're selling a half hour consultation through a Zoom meeting and the instruction would be that they have to go, once they purchase, they have to go to a certain URL, you might want to put those that URL there where they would book your session based on your calendar. Um, but for the traditional businesses that are selling a specific product once or a specific service once, I wouldn't worry too much about those areas. File uploads, that's if you want your customer to upload something for you when they're buying. An example would be, let's say you're selling uh, mugs with logos on it and the client would need to upload a file that they want to put the logo on, this is where you could put instructions to upload a file. Um, and then you would save that. Uh, 
product. Now, when you go and list all products, it'll show you all of the different products that you have listed right now. And when I go to the chamber directory, and I'm something now from the somebody from the public just browsing around looking to shop local. And then they would see on the marketplace, all of the vendors that are listed, they would see the different products from all different businesses. If they wanted to purchase, they would click on the thing that they're interested in. And here, remember when I said the videos are important, this gives you the ability here for having a video when you click on it, it opens up in this frame. Okay, so this URL is not correct. I guess it's a good idea to also check the URLs that you have that they're opening correctly. So if the URL was correct, this would actually start the video explaining what the product is. Um, somebody would be interested in buying it. They would click on that cart. You would see here on the little corner in the car shopping cart. Um, they would then, uh, if, if it's a consumer or a business person that is shopping on this e-commerce uh, chamber, chamber marketplace, um, they will be presented with different options for becoming a member of the local chamber. Uh, if they're not inter if they're already a member, of course they won't want to, but if they want to become a member, they'd be able to click on add membership and that would add the chamber membership. I will remove this for this specific test here. So now I've got a product and I wanna purchase it. I would click on, uh, I'll go back to my shopping cart and I would click on checkout. I'm a returning customer. So here, because I am running two different accounts in the same login, I might have to log out first and log back in. Give me one second. Okay, next. I check all my information and then I place the order. And that act of placing the order uh, sends an email notification to the chamber that the member belongs to and also to the person that purchased it and to the merchant that listed the product that this is now something that was sold. I'll go over a couple of other things as well, uh, features. Uh, in here, let me log out as the consumer and I'm gonna log in as my business. So now I'm logged in as the business person. Uh, if you go to account settings, manage business, you can see here the different things that I'm subscribed to as a business. So I have a subscription to the Chamber of Commerce we put zero, zero dollars annually because this is a test account. So we're just showing the possibilities. It'll show all of the transactions. If I had any transactions that I've purchased as the business, it'll give me a report of anything that I've sold from my uh, Chamber Market e-commerce web store. Uh, these again are all just test um, uh, transactions. It will list all the products and services that I have. I can add a product here. I can also go into the payment processing. This is where you uh, can get confirmation that your Bambor merchant account is connected to your e-commerce web store. You can see here that my merchant ID for Bambora is, is, is uh, connected, which means I'm able as a business to get uh, products sold on the uh, Chamber Marketplace. Now in the marketing materials section, this is an area where as a business, you might want to provide marketing assets so that your chamber has the ability to promote it for you. So the benefit of, of the, the chamber market e-commerce marketplace is it's the only e-commerce platform built by chambers to facilitate e-commerce for members. So, Unlike Shopify, Etsy, and other different platforms that you might already be on, which are great, think of this as an, just another uh, location online that you can sell your products and services through. 
that is marketed and promoted by your local chamber as a, a uh, economic stimulus or shop local initiative. And any new sales that come out of there uh, are likely sales that you would not have been able to get on your own through your other traditional channels. Um, so the marketing campaign is a place where you can, you can um, create marketing assets. Um, you would browse the file, you would find the asset that you've created. Again, we strongly recommend the use of Canva because it's so easy to use. And let's say that this, uh, I'm just gonna randomly choose a, something here, uh, this image. So upload it, and this now becomes an image asset that your local chamber can use to market and promote that specific product in the marketplace. There's also, uh, it needed a URL. There's also a uh, blog section as well. So here I created a blog post. These images need to be 830 by 390. Um, these blog posts is also another way for your chamber to have content to be able to market and promote you. So just to recap, this is, we are today's date, in case you're reviewing this recording, today's date is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. This is version one of the uh, chamber marketplace, which means that there's currently five chambers in the beta expected to go live next week at the 2021 AGM for the Alberta Chambers of Commerce, uh, which means that at that point, businesses are now able to log into those chambers that have the chamber market enabled to start getting listed and putting their products and services on it. If you're listening to this recording at a later date, there probably will be new features and um, functionality in the e-commerce web stores. And uh, for support or to stay up to date, we recommend that you go to support.chambermarket.ca. And that is where you'll be able to uh, put your email address to stay up to date with any new releases any new things uh, related to the chamber market. The other thing that it'll do at support.chambermarket.ca is we will be posting previous videos, how to's, best practices. And in the future, we wanna have a um, support, concierge support for businesses that need assistance. Uh, so it may look like something like this, where it could be a live chat widget that we have for you that you can access, uh, or it may be an email form. We haven't decided how that will uh, be rolled out yet, but this is uh, something that will be coming soon. And I believe that is uh, pretty much all that we've covered. So step one, if you're a business is go to chambermarket.ca, click on start selling, you also do not need to immediately be a member of your local chamber to start selling. Fill out the Bambora Merchant Account uh, form, which is a one, one to three business day turnaround to then get your confirmation number to connect that account to your bank account. And once that is approved, you can then post your products and services on your local chamber's e-commerce marketplace, which will be called um, the name of your chamber dot chamber market dot ca. So if your name, your chamber's name is Mario Chamber of Commerce, it would be Mario dot chamber market dot ca. If you're not sure, you can always call your local chamber of commerce and I'm sure they'll be glad to help you out with that. If you are a business in an area where the chamber market e-commerce marketplace is not yet live, just go to support.chambermarket.ca and send us a link, uh, an email or a message 
uh, that you are a business interested in this service. And we will do our best to um, put you on the waiting lists and notify you as soon as it's available in your local market.